It is nearly a wrap for Moorhead City's major moneymaker. The Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament ends tomorrow, but not without a celebration that features the work of a North Carolina artist. WNCT's Courtney Allen reports. A marine wildlife artist who shared his work at fishing tournaments worldwide. Costa Rica, the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas. Says the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament in his home state of North Carolina beats the rest. I am home, but um, I now have one of the top events in the world right here in my backyard. Wilmington-based Steve Goyon is this year's featured artist. Oh, it means everything. Um, being attached to the Big Rock. Uh, it's a privilege. In vibrant watercolor, Steve's work features Mahi Mahi and Wahoo, but of course, the focus remains on the big blue marlin. Make sure that I had a bright a turquoise ocean and a soft coral and yellow sky. Big Rock retailers say since all the proceeds go to charity, Steve's items are flying off the shelves. They've been extremely popular, especially the youth sizes. We're actually out of a few of the sizes already, and the tournament's not even over. Um, I like the big blue marlin on the back. I like the way it's pretty realistic. Steve says it feels amazing to be back home, seeing his shirts all across the state. It, it makes me proud as a North Carolinian, if that's the correct word, living here for uh, 12 years now, that I can help represent the Big Rock, represent North Carolina. So uh, to be able to to help promote this to the world from North Carolina, that, that makes me proud. In Moorhead City, Courtney Allen, nine on your side. The auction and award ceremony starts tomorrow night at seven. Steve says the bidding usually starts at around $5,000 and every penny benefits a Big Rock charity.